All right, well, we just uh, finished up the tune-up. We just did an air conditioning tune-up and a furnace tune-up on uh, one house. Those folks just moved in this year. Um, so they had quite a bit of thing, you know, quite a bit of stuff going on with their system. Uh, they're, uh, they have a 90% York, it's an 11 year old, 90% York in a closet. And the AC's on the ground on the side of the house. Um, so their condensate drainage, um, the 90% furnace and the primary from the AC marry together and then drain under the house. Was broken off, it's extremely bowed under the house so uh, and then where it terminates outside of the house um, it actually points upwards and it's just not a good good situation so uh, I recommended they replace the whole condensate drain line just be, how wanky everything is run on it um, I'd like to see everything sloping down 100% of the time so so I think they're going to move forward with that. And they see that the priority is is there, especially with the AC season coming up. Um, checked out the ductwork under the house, and there is some there's some uh, uninsulated ductwork underneath the, underneath there. There's some crushed ductwork underneath there. It's the Alumaflex uh, hard pipe ductwork. So I explained to them what's going on. You know, fortunately for them, I mean, at least it, the ductwork is under the house and it's not in the attic. The supply ductwork is not in the attic. So, um, but there is still heat loss going on during the winter time and you're gonna be losing some of your cool air. You want that to be uh, insulated 100% of the way. So it's so crammed under that house. I am not interested in doing their ductwork though. So I told them that if you're gonna change your ductwork, I'm not interested in doing it. So, um, so uh, furnace was really good. Uh, the only thing I, I did notice was that the first stage it was a two-stage uh, condensing furnace, and it was four wires run to the control board, and it would only um, it was only wired up for first stage. And there's a there's a uh, there's a a jumper on the board that literally says you know where you can time out your second stage uh, and it was in the off position so you could time it out at 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes uh, for the second stage to come on so I let them know about that um, the flue pipe the condensing flue pipe it uh, it's leaking water there at the at the elbows it's not sloped downward all the way real crap install I mean they just basically they put the furnaces and the AC in and everything but you know it's just not to code it's 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 a really bad install I mean so the elbows uh, weren't strapped up on the flue pipe and so it's sagged now it's leaking hot service igniter was good we did a uh, they had a dirty flame sensor cleaned that really well for them uh, the only thing I had recommended on the air conditioning was a compressor start kit. The starting amps were uh, uh, pretty high, uh, right up at the uh, at the top of the LRA rating. So anytime I see that, I always recommend a compressor start kit because it can add years of life to the compressor. Uh, and then the other major thing they had going on was their return air. So I said, "Oh, is this your only return air?" Yes, it is. Well, it's a 14 by 24 for a 40 for a 40 um, for a four ton system so I calculated that up and that's about 638 CFMs of air through a perfectly clean filter uh, so we walked around the house and I happened to see another uh, vent as a stamp face grill on a uh, on a gable wall like a knee wall and it's like a, it's like a four by thirty inch stamp face grill, maybe twenty five, and there's no filter in it, but it is a return. It is a return air. So I went up there, I looked at all the ductwork, and they're going to be doing some remodeling here in the future. But I told them, regardless of what you're going to do, we it's a downflow furnace. We could just put a filter base. Uh, we could put a filter rack 
uh, on top of the downflow uh, furnace in the uh, closet do, do some sheet metal around that and then to change your filters uh, you wouldn't need to put filters in there you would just put filters in at the filter rack so they saw the importance of that because it also opens up airflow at that 14 by 24 uh, 14 by 25 14 by 24 uh, return air grill from 638 CFMs up to 1174 CFMs according to my calculations so um, the unit says it is drawing 1200 CFMs of air because a little flash code on the CFM light on the on the little board there and I checked the static pressure with a filter in the return air static pressure was uh, 0 0.8 so mind you there's no filter on one uh, 8 inch coming from the other side of the house and there's there was a dirty filter a pretty dirty filter uh, in the 14 by 25 and so it was measuring about point uh, 0 0.8 so which is high I'd like to see I'd like to see around 0 0.4 0 0.5 on the return air on the on the return end and maybe even 0 0.3 would be great uh, so so if they could just open all that up maybe uh, you know we're either going to be enlarging returns or we're going to put the filter rack in or something so they're going to think about it that I, I i i ended up giving them a lot of re, uh, suggestions over a thousand dollars worth of suggestions that need to be done so they're going to move forward with the condensate they're going to call me um when they're ready to do it but i know they're going to do the condensate i know they're going to do the return air uh filter rack and uh you know, hopefully they do this other stuff because you know they, they know that it's important but I I didn't it's not like I showed them how to do it either so um, we're gonna hopefully we'll get a call back and get to do some work I was able to sign them up on our club membership so we'll be coming out two times in the next year signed up on my club membership for 1095 a month uh, they just went ahead and prepaid for the year 13140. So I'll be out to do the maintenances on their systems. You know, they got a gas sediment trap that needs to be done in the winter time for the furnace, um, the flue pipe. So and the, the first stage, second stage deal with the board. So there's some work that still needs to be done in the furnace uh, in the winter time. So, so there will be some uh, money coming in there. But uh, okay, well that's how that that one went. Took me about three hours and 30 minutes in and out I also quoted them on a uh, whole house fan so they said they like the price uh, on the whole house fan because they like our system uh, the system I use is a uh, quiet cool and uh, quiet cool is a brand that I'm gonna go with for whole house fans they just they just present themselves nicer uh, cleaner more efficient less cost to run so so uh, I was able to ask them, hey, you know, how was my pricing on the whole house fan compared to the other guy? They said uh, it was good uh, for the system. So, so that's good to hear. I mean, a little bit higher. It's probably a little bit higher than the loud system, but my price is my my system is uh, is nicer. Also has a 15 year warranty on it. So, all right, enough talking. That's how that tune up went probably make a video out of that one just alone so um, I'm gonna head home I'm gonna watch the Colorado and Detroit Red Wings hockey game on the outdoor game tonight go Red Wings I don't want to hear it Avalanche fans so hopefully we'll get a victory anyways um, that's it for now Saturday I'm going home Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.